Welcome to Electron Line. In the first of the four videos now that we're using to show you where the method of the variation of parameters came from, we made a claim. When we took the first derivative of the particular solution, we ended up with four terms. But I took these two terms right here, the u1 prime y1 and the u2 prime y2, and said that the sum of those two equals zero and did not show you why that was true. I said I was going to show you later. Well, now that we've done the entire method and we realize how we found u1 prime and u2 prime, we can now show you that this is indeed true. So let's go ahead and plug in u1 prime into here and u2 prime into there and see what we get. So right over here, we have u1 prime y1 plus u2 prime y2 claiming it's equal to zero. So let's plug in u1 prime in here. So we end up with minus y2 g of t divided by the Ronskian of y1 and y2 and multiply that times y1 and we add that to u2 which is this right here which is y1 g of t divided by the Ronskian of y1 and y2 and then we multiply that times y2. Now notice this term right here, we have the Ronskin on the denominator, g of t, and both are multiplied in the numerator by y2 and y1, y1 and y2, just in a different order, but you can clearly see that those two are equal, and since this is negative and since that is positive, we can see that this does indeed add up to zero. So that initial claim that made finding this method showing how to find u1 and u2 in the variation of parameters method it made it a lot easier by making this assumption. Of course, once you work it out without making this assumption, and then you can later on realize, oh, I can make life a lot easier by making this assumption, because after all, when I see the solution for u1 prime and u2 prime, I know that to be true, then the process becomes a lot easier. So that's why we did it. But here I can show you that it was not just a random guess. We knew that later on when we found the solution for u1 prime and u2 prime that this was indeed the case and we can claim that to be true. And now this method is complete and we can begin to show you some examples of how to actually apply this method. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing some examples.